So about three weeks ago, I uploaded a video where I gave myself an hour and a half to get as rich as possible on ECPE. Well, the video got a fair amount of views from YouTube. They kind of promoted it. Anyways, I have had multiple people ask me to do a sequel to that video. So I figured with the new season, I might as well do a sequel just due to a couple of changes and a couple other things that might be better to go for that I didn't talk about in that video. Anyways, if you haven't checked that video out and you're watching this video, you might want to go check it out afterward. I'll leave it at the end of the video. Anyways, before we do start, if you do want to subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. 70% of the people that watch my videos are not actually subscribed, so if you want to subscribe, that would be pretty cool. And well, one last thing before we switch accounts here. I'm on my new PC, so hopefully I will have an increase in quality on my videos. If you want to know what the specs are, just go to the About page on my YouTube channel, or I'll leave it in the description, why not? Anyways, with that said, I also have gigabit internet now, so hopefully I can be doing some streams with with an increase of quality so the video bitrate doesn't look like a potato. So over the next week, expect a couple live streams. Anyways, I hope you all do enjoy this video, and let's begin. And here we are, we're on a fresh account, apart from the fact that this rank has uh, ultimate. It's fine, we won't be using those kits. We got a one and a half hour timer, so I'm gonna hit start and I'm gonna try to get as rich as possible. Now, once again, I'm gonna be going for money. I'm gonna get a couple spawners. Not really gonna be a huge priority though. And then lastly, I just wanna get a decent set of armor. But basically, I'm just going for money because that's what that can buy us all those stuff. So the big issue with the fact that the server's only been released for like two weeks now at this point is it's really hard to find kits in the wild and when you do most of them have already been picked clean so it's gonna be hard to find a decent pickaxe to start off with now of course one thing you can do you're not gonna have these three kits unlocked but you do have starter kit unlocked so you can use that it just gives you some basic items there is no way i'm gonna go mining for relics with a starter pickaxe oh there we go we got we got a decent one chronos with efficiency six okay so one thing you might want to do before you even start fighting anything is if you go to the if you go to warp boss what you can try to do is if someone dies to one of the bosses you can try to pick up their armor now you're not going to be want to fight the boss because you're going to get literally one hit i'm in i'm in iron armor i've got no hope but hopefully someone can die and we can just grab the items from them but the nice part is when there's a whole bunch of people at the warp boss the boss will never lock onto you because you're not hitting it well, i've been sitting here for like five minutes and the only players that have died are just people with hard armor so i'm just gonna go back to the wild and continue mining but i would recommend if there's only like two or three people fighting the boss at once what you can do is just sit there wait for the boss to just lock onto one of them and when they start to get low try to run in and grab the items from the person that dies you know funny story i actually lost a g sword on my main account due to that because i was fighting a boss with a g sword don't judge me. Okay, yeah, we can insta hit a uh, stone. So as long as you have a pickaxe that can pretty much do that, then you're set. And there we go. That's, there's another thing you can find. You can find treasure chests, but uh, I don't know where it went. Yes, MD. We got efficiency six, but we also have fortune three. So that's honestly huge. That's such an upgrade. That is so lucky. Yeah, if you didn't know. Having a higher fortune is going to give you a much higher chance of getting relics, so I'm just going to be using this. And there we go, just like that. I've only mined all these blocks and I've already got a common relic. Alright, we've got just over 45 minutes left and after about, I'd say that was 40 minutes of mining. We got 17 common relics, 15 rare, 13 epic, 16 legendary, and 12 mythical. So before we open these up, I'm actually gonna go vote on the network because if you didn't know, voting gives you like a lot of stuff and if you're just starting out, it's very helpful. Oh, and look at that. As I voted, we hit the vote level. So on top of what I got from the vote, I also got two master keys and 3000 CEXP. And so before I open up all these relics, I'm at 48K coins just from mining and selling all like the stone I got. Let's go to the wild and let's open up these relics. All right, and from the common ones, we got like a lot of CEXP coins and apparently we got like five mortal kits. Yeah, okay, I don't know. I don't even know about that one. Let's see what we get from the rares. I'm getting a lot of mob coins and keys. Okay. I don't even know what mob coins really do. All right, from all the epic ones, we got more mob coins, master keys, and a couple more coins. Now now we're getting onto the good stuff. These are like the top tier. All right, we got, we got a lot of coins and CE XP from those. And then these, these are like the best of the best. Let's, let's hope we get some good stuff from this. 
and we really didn't actually we got I guess we got two three different amounts of like about 100k so that's good anyways oh my days just from just from those relics I'm already at a million coins so that just shows you how quickly you can make money and now it's just with an MD pickaxe if I had a Shion pickaxe I could make so much more but like with the server reset Shion pickaxes are just on such high demand all right nothing's updated but I've got I got I got one voter key got a Titan kit I've got seven of all the others okay I got forge note chicken spawner more coins another MD kit that's huge XP, CE, XP, and that's it. More XP. Forge notes, okay. Legendary key. Alice kit. That's, now we're getting some good stuff here. Oh, I hate getting XP. No, I'm getting so much XP. All right, forge note and forge note. All right, so now we are at 1.2 million coins after we open up all the keys. And then I've got two chicken spawners, a titan kit, which I'm, I, I, I genuinely do not want. I'm just going to throw that out. But I've got two atlas kits. I've got a Zeus kit, God Eater kit, three MD kits, a Kronos, six mortal, and a Hecate. However you say that. Anyways, then I've also got some forge notes. One that's 79, two that are 75, a 45, a 23, and a 7%. But that's not it. I also got a whole bunch of CEXP. Currently, I'm at 5,600. Because I've got a whole bunch of forge notes, I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of tier one enchants and then try to get them up from there. So let's just open up. I think we can do like four of them. So let's let's hope I get some good stuff. We got four books. We got Dragon Ball. Okay, that doesn't really seem like the best. Bleeding. Okay, bleeding is good actually. I know that much. Oh, you're in touch. Oh, that's huge for the pickaxe. And then we got Ingress. Now I'd say what if, if I really wanted to make the most money, I would just go mining for another 45 minutes, but that's that's really not gonna make for a good video. Honestly, I think the best play though, you're gonna wanna save your money and just try to get a Shion pickaxe. Now I'm honestly probably gonna die here, but I wanna go PvP just to try to see if I can do anything there. Cause I know there's envoys that can give us some good stuff and that's gonna be pretty easy to get, hopefully. Come on, come on, he's on four. Are you? Mmm, he was on 4 HP. Although I'll say this much, Atlas is actually OP. Because whenever they hit me, they just go up in the air with levitation. There, I'm on strength? Are you kidding? I had him so low. Honestly, that's the best way to get killed. If you don't have good armor, you just gotta use a strength potion. And then when you get that on, you just attack them. Oh no. All right, that's not really the play. You gotta be, you just gotta do hit and run plays. All right, well, I've got half an hour left. I think what I'm gonna be doing now, I know this probably doesn't really fit within the like challenge rules or whatever, but I'm gonna go back on my main account and see what I can do on there. All right, so essentially the first hour of this video was tips if you just are starting out, but now I'm gonna get to some more advanced tips. So basically to get to this point, you'll, wanna, you'll probably wanna have done like a lot of mining. Now basically, before you want to put on any pickaxe enchants, you're going to want to make sure you have a Shion pickaxe. And to make sure you do, if you're trying to buy one off AH, make sure that's Efficiency 8, Fortune 5, and Unbreaking 2. If it's not, then it's actually not a Shion pickaxe and someone just renamed something. Now assuming you have that, you can go to CE Help and you can take a look at all the different pickaxe enchants. Now the ones I would recommend to put on... For sure, you're going to have Golden Touch, Iron Touch, Diamond Touch, Black Dust, Money Grab, and Black Magic. Now, I've, I've got all those enchants on my pickaxe. Some of them aren't really the highest level. And then on top of that, I have Digger 5 and Lucky Hit 4. Now, in my opinion, these are probably going to be the best for mining. So if you can get these on, then you're pretty much set. I'm going to go check AH. I'm just going to buy a, pretty much every single Forge Note on there just to try to upgrade stuff. All right, literally from all those forge notes, I just got one enchant that brought up black dust. Now, also, I should say every single other enchant is max level for what it is. So black magic only goes up to three. Lucky hit goes up to four. The only one I can upgrade is black dust. All right, so earlier I had done some mining. It was a couple days back and I got a couple more relics. I'm just going to go to the wild and open these up as well. All right, we got a lot of coins. so That's fine. We're pretty much back up where we started before we started getting forge notes. And there we go, I think we have a maxed out pickaxe. 
just a few blocks and I just start mining. I'll just mine for like a solid like, I don't know, 10 seconds here. Alright, there we go. That's what we got just from like literally 10 seconds of mining. We got legendary relic, a rare, and so many other things. So I would just try to get a decent level of fortune on a pickaxe, just go mining, and then just start saving your money for a Shion pickaxe, and then just buy just buy a lot of tier 1 enchants from a CE shop, and then just go for some forge notes, and you can just, and then you just slowly work your way up on all these enchants, and you get a really good pickaxe. Anyways, one final thing before this video ends, I've got a Shion kit here, I'm just gonna be placing it in the wild. If you come to the coordinates on screen, there is a full Shion kit right here. And I will just cover it up with some uh, iron. So you just mine these two blocks, and there's a Shion pickaxe and kit. Mm -hmm.